Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. We're on Venus. Let's kill some Nazis. God, so satisfying. Nikki Meadow. Einige Gefangene versuchten zu fliehen. Viel Krawall, viele Tote. You know, it occurs to me, sorry to interrupt, you're probably reading the text there. Um, it occurs to me that as the viewer, you're probably reading pretty much all of the subtitles, but I actually almost never read them because I'm like for these idle conversations, because when I'm focused on moving around and looking for enemies, I can't really read the subtitles at the same time. I wonder what I've been missing out on in the conversations. I sort of peek at him every once in a while, but. Wen? Den verdammten Terror Billy. Ist nicht wahr? Terror Billy? Really? No way. Who's this Terror Billy? They just like perfectly made the conversation for that, didn't they? I, I, I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. What was that? The producer. Yay! I got the the Hitler gold. I didn't realize those were. Rooms. Oh, I can go into all of them, I guess. We need to do that. Oh, wow. Someone's a fan of Angle. The police are coming to arrest them. Who's them? I don't know, I didn't really think that far. Is this my room? No. Polaroids of oh oh that's a Polaroid of a like a UFO because they're looking for extraterrestrial life I see a triangle is that the Bermuda Triangle probably okay that was my room <gasps> Weapon upgrade! Yes! I'm thinking extended magazines for various weapons would probably be good at this point. So I can extend the magazine of the shock hammer as well as the diesel craft work. I can give it an extended tank. I think those two upgrades plus this one for the conf pistol, the shoulder stock, are probably the three ones that I'm looking at getting right now that I think would actually be useful. That This one eliminates all recoil, well, almost all recoil from the conf pistol, which is actually a bigger deal than I thought. So I don't think I've mentioned this, but the spring loader that I got that allows me to charge up up to three, well, it says grenades, but in reality it's rockets since I got the rocket upgrade, allows me to charge up to three rockets at the same time. and 
Well, I thought they would fire at the same time, but they don't. They fire in rapid sequence, like it says there in the description for the spring loader. And that's actually a bigger deal than I thought, because the few times that I've used it, it's actually incredibly inaccurate, because there's a lot of recoil for each shot. And the three fired in rapid sequence, it's actually pretty inaccurate. So I think the shoulder stock would actually be quite good for that. Um, let's... I feel like getting the extended magazines for the shotguns right now, though. Right, that makes sense. I mean, it was a heavy. I shot its helmet off, though. Its helmet. Helmets? Doesn't have two heads. Alright, let's test out these new mags. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, right, shotgun very bad at range. <laughs> makes sense. You think anyone heard that? Nah. Sorry, puppy. Achtung! Die Einrichtung wird angegriffen. Alpha sofort sicher. Wow, it's absolutely terrible at range. Jesus! Fuck me! Okay, we're not using shotguns here. There's a lot of explosives in this room. Just creeping out in the wall there. I'm very low on ammo now. Oh, I'd have no ammo for this. I just assumed I had ammo for the comp pistol. There we go, got more power. Uh, where's the commander? Somewhere this way. Now I'm getting further away from him. Voices. Where are they coming from? Okay. Alright. Good. Alright, there's a lot of room to explore here. Let me gather some equipment and stuff and I'll bring it back when I find something interesting. Chris Shale. Andrew Creek. Oh my god, I can eat an entire pig. Oh my god. Blaskowitz, you monster. 
Ha, I, I, I guess my super soldier body of the future. I'm just trying to imagine, did, uh, did Blazkowicz's jaw just like unhinge like a snake or something? Huh. Anyway, got a bunch of equipment, max health, max armor, so much food. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Does this open? No, it doesn't. What if these statues are destructible? Oh! Oh my. Yes. Oh, that is very cool. That is really well done destruction. That's really impressive, actually. I wonder if that's supposed to be wine or blood or who the hell knows. What about this one? <laughs> Nice. That's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Alright, let's check out these rooms. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's definitely where I'm supposed to go. I think they might have saw me, actually. There's more. Let's take a look at all this technology. It's really interesting. I'm gonna put it with the shotguns just so we can actually see something. They take up like half the screen. There we go. Better view. It's a very different space aesthetic from when we went to uh, the moon in the first game. Yeah, that was very sterile, very white. Like, everything was very just white, sterile, clean. The aesthetic here is a lot more... orange. And everything seems a lot more lived in. What do all these lights mean? Really cool looking. Alpha's e post from Alpha to Commandant Helmut Beringer. 5th of August 1961. Beringer, I'm livid at your disregard for details. The specimens you brought in last week were unclean. Unclean, all of them. You are too simple to understand the significance of my special research to give the matter proper attention. The chemical composition concerns me not. It's the aura of the colors. I have shown you what tainted light can do to plants. Same thing with humans. Impurities of the second and third order cannot be simply filtered away. It's like German blood, forever soiled if mixed with inferior heritage. Our eyes should be like hungry funnels, eagerly drinking only the purest shades. I learned this as an artist in Vienna, tasting the bright hues, synesthesia reflecting patterns of eternal scope. You are reassigned to special duty in the Australian territories. Last chance to prove that you're not completely incompetent, Beringer. Ooh. Oh, that's cool.
You know what? Yeah, I haven't tried this gun in a while. There's some ammo here for it. So many explosives. Whoa, what? Huh? Some little thing on the floor just moved me. Yeah, that works. Are these the actors? Yeah, those are the actors cleaning them up. Love the atmosphere of that. Are you supposed to be able to actually read that output? Cause damn, that's fast. Seems like it gets faster when I touch it. Venus Atmospheric Suit. Because of the high temperatures on the surface of Venus, you have to wear the Venus Atmospheric Suit. The suit is powered by coolant, and you can stay outside for as long as the coolant lasts. When your coolant meter is low, make sure to find your way inside or to a coolant station where you can refill your suit. When your suit runs out of coolant, you will instantly burn to death. I'm curious what that death animation looks like. Probably very, very unpleasant. Air feels heavy. Brutal heat. Like Texas in August. Wow, this place is so cool looking. This really reminds me of Doom, the new Doom game. Look at these structures. I wonder how they're formed. Just weathered from wind? Damn, I'm burning up. Alright, let's get moving. Time to break into the facility. Find the Ober Commando. Steal the Odin codes for General Angle's ship. Slick as a whistle. It's a shame that I can't just sightsee all that much. I mean, I can, but I'm gonna have to refill all the time. Oh, there's a huge, huge robot over there, I think. Right at the end of the bridge. Oh, yeah. I just love this atmosphere. So what is that stuff down there that seems to be glowing? I mean, it looks like lava, but is there lava on Venus? I know nothing about Venus. Oh, I'm dead. Right, I probably should just avoid it, right? Oh, 
I have to, oh, I have to break that? Do I? I thought maybe it would open. Hmm. All right, let's go a different way. Oh, right. Shit. All right. You know what? Fuck it. Too Here we hot. go. Need to cool down. Oh. Huh. Right. Yeah, that went well. Oh, it's safe here. Okay. Gotcha, Commander. do something that's just a real bad idea just because I really like using the laser gun and I don't get to use it as often as I'd like. I'm gonna go out there and try to laser that huge robot. Uh. Did it just give up? <laughs> Where did it go? It's so big. Where could it go? Oh, there it is. How about that, huh? Just gotta go right for the eye. Damn, I'm burning up. Oh right, I'm gonna instantly burn to death. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Shotgun thingies. Eh. Nah, get out of here. Ooh, <gasps> that's a weapon upgrade. I'm glad I looked down the shaft. Let's get a bigger tank on the diesel craft work. I don't use it very often, but yeah, yeah, let's go for it. At this point, there's really no upgrades that I like super need. So it's okay if I don't get the one that's necessarily absolutely ideal for the most combat effectiveness. It just feels good to have a bigger tank.
I really don't want it to instantly burn up. Oh, is that one of these crappy guns again? Get out of here. Okay, that's the first time I've seen a new enemy in a long time. This is pretty satisfying. I'm kind of surprised it's working. Alright, where's that? I think, oh, that's the commander right there. Okay. Now I can get my comp pistol ready for that thing. Okay, doesn't take a huge amount of damage to kill it, just hard to hit and does a lot of damage to you! Oh. I almost combusted. Uber Gwir testing protocol. Ammunition, Blitz and Diesel and Laser Croft. Unknown third source, energy from extra dimensional micro portals not confirmed. Origin dot you should parchment. Result successful. Accidents fifteen. Casualties nine. Accident report fifteen. The Zer store was equipped with the Uber Gawir, I, I'm totally mispronouncing everything there, in test chamber A7. Security protocols were initiated after the installment procedure. Berg, Sido, and Kranz were on their way out when the Zer store accidentally fired. All three violently disintegrated and thus died immediately. An impressive, although tragic, result. The Uber Gawir continues to be a very dangerous and difficult weapon to operate, but with a few more tweaks, I believe we can roll it out across the board. Developing a doomsday weapon. That is really cool looking. Strangely out of place. Everything's fairly clean, and then there's just this dirty patch of like rock samples. Looks like they got it out with these jackhammers. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.